this is that the laws of physics are evolving to permit greater freedom. And we are, and people have said to me, well, don't you find it a little strange that such a momentous event would occur uh, in human history? After all, human history is 10,000 years wide. The planet is 5 billion years old. Pretty unusual coincidence that human history would be happening when this cosmic event happens. No, that's completely wrong. Human history is being caused by the nearby presence of this event. In other words, if you think of the event as something which has shells of influence, some of its shells of influence reach so far back in time that they drag life out of the primitive oceans. Some of its shells of influence reach so far back in time that they define the emergence of the hominid line out of the higher primates. Some shells reach back to Egypt some to medieval time. As you approach the present, it becomes stronger and stronger. But I would argue that the presence of human civilization on this planet is the strongest evidence we have that matter and organizational processes are about to make some kind of a leap to a new order of being. What, what history is, is the 25,000 year transition zone. Before you enter the zone, you're an animal. After you leave the zone, you're a god. But for 25,000 years, you're kind of an animal and kind of a god. And you're constantly being swamped by your animal nature and then great teachers are appearing and dragging people back to the right line. And we are schizophrenic in history. Uh, a friend of mine once said, he said, history is the shock wave which precedes the eschaton. And I absolutely believe that. And I believe as historical processes intensify, it's reasonable to believe that we are ever closer to the eschaton. If my ideas seem strange to someone, I ask them, can you imagine this planet in 500 years? given the propagation of ordinary historical and scientific rates of uh, unfoldment and discovery? Can you imagine this planet in a thousand years? No, no one can imagine that because processes are now in play which so totally rewrite the script that no one can imagine a hundred years or two hundred years in the future because the discoveries which will be made in that span of time will so totally rewrite the human experience of itself and the environment that we cannot see deep into the future. And this indicates to me that the future is exploding in an asymptotic uh, unfoldment into a kind of cultural superspace. And, uh, and our own bafflement at the impossibility of conceiving any real future given the political and social and technological forces in play is proof of that. Before we go farther, I'd like you to attempt to give me a definition of concrescence and eschaton. Well, let's go backward. Eschaton first. Eschaton is a good word out of theology. It simply means the last thing. The last thing is the eschaton, and it is everything become one thing. Uh, for theologians, it's God. For somebody of a more materialist bent, it might be something else. But the eschaton is the last thing. Eschatology is the study of the time of the last thing.